Hey guys, welcome back. It's empties time. I'm gonna get started because they're already falling all over the place. I'm also gonna talk fast because I have like 17 minutes on my memory card. Let's get started with the thing that already fell off. This is the Living Proof Frizz Styling Spray Wave Shaping Curl Defining for Fine to Medium Hair. Now I have a lot of hair so people don't believe me but it is kind of fine so I just have a lot of thin hair <laughs> you know um but this is just a spray this is like close to 30 bucks i get my stuff at tj maxx so it's like 15 bucks way too pricey still you guys know how frugal i am especially about hair products but i love this stuff and i would rather spend 15 bucks on this than 10 bucks on gel a leave-in conditioner hairspray and you know a cream and a this and a that it, it, you know, it, you're really not saving that much when you're gunking up all that stuff in your hair. And I'll put these products on my hair and I can leave them in my hair for like two, sometimes even three days and not worry about it. So I love that stuff. I also love Pacifica Blood. What is this? Tuscan Blood Orange. <laughs> Pacifica Blood. Um, the, the Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. This is my favorite scent from Pacifica. It's amazing. Their body butter is really, really good. Very creamy. It's not oily. Okay, guys, let's finish this. I should have included this in my 2015 Use Up collab with Jen from Glam Moms because I did finish this the with three days to spare in 2015, but I filmed that video a few days early. This is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Treatment Cleanser. It comes in this really cute box, which I, when I got it, I was like, oh, I could totally use this. Throw it away. I could use this to, when I like travel with makeup brushes, but come on now. Now, I, I wanted to show you just so you know now this does look like the mask for like the glam glow mask um so it looks like you know mud kind of and i did like it when you're done it'll just stop pumping you can twist this off and there wasn't a lot more in there that i could get but it was probably like three or four more days worth of product that i could use so always check to see what you can do now this was something i really liked you kind of put it on your face and left it there and then add water to make it like more milky and scrub your face uh really really nice i did like it however i have a lot of face washes it is something i would repurchase i will say that now this is from love this is from victoria's secret this is the love spell spray i love this scent it's my favorite i wore it on my wedding day i've worn it since high school i just love it now i love these cotton rounds these are from equaline and I think these are actually from the Dollar Tree, I want to say. But I will always get just the cheapest ones I can get. I like the cotton rounds a lot more than like the cotton balls. They don't stick to things. I just like them a lot more. I do have some samples that I'm going to put off to the side. You know, all of these things. I will talk about this. Just in case if, you know, I run out of time. I kind of want to go through the actual products. I finished my product candy, guys. <gasps> I love this perfume. I actually already bought a replacement I am throwing all my stuff, clearly. I've already bought a replacement when we had like the $20 off from Sephora code that came around. This is out the door top coat. This is like eight bucks at Walgreens or CVS. I do like this. However, I do have a new nail polish top coat that I love and it's from Glisten A Glow. It's HK Girl and it's pricey, but it's by far the best top coat I've ever tried. Now this is from Carez. I had hauled this stuff a few several months ago maybe even almost a year ago when i finally started using it and this is a two-step process there is the activating peel gel and then the brightening and resurfacing peel mask and i don't know i thought it would be like those chemical resurfacing things where it beads up or i thought it would be a real mask they really were just like creams um i've only used it once so it's fine i'm not i wouldn't as of right now i wouldn't repurchase it again i'll let you guys know when i finish everything else how i feel about it now these are from herbal essences it's the hello hydration conditioner and shampoo i really did like these mostly because they smell so damn good let's be honest and then this one is just a polish remover strengthening from cvs this is from avene it's one of the spring thermal sprays i totally think these are really gimmicky and i do these should be like two bucks however i really did like this i would do my makeup and then just spray it so it wasn't as powdery looking or i would spray my beauty blender with this and then just like kind of pat once i set my makeup with my powder i really did like this this is from clearacel it's the daily hydro blast <laughs> face wash my husband loves these and i would use it too so i actually really do like this i've used this especially after i go to the gym and work out 
my favorite deodorant. <laughs> this is from Secret. It's Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Completely Clean. I really, really liked this. It really was invisible. I like um, the, the white deodorant more so than like the clear gel um, just because I feel like it helps keep me dry more. But I really do love that. And then this is just an Ulta shampoo. It's for volume and strength. This wasn't anything special. Most shampoo and conditioner isn't, but this was the same as like the one or two dollar ones. And this was like closer to eight dollars, I want to say. I also used up some makeup wipes. This is not makeup wipes. This is, these are just like, like the cleansing moist flush towelettes from Kirkland, which is Costco. And we always use these. And I just really like them. Look, I have some more, clearly. And then I, after like two or three, I just start to like throw them away. <laughs> and I also use these makeup wipes, these facial wipes from the Dollar Tree, which I don't like them. The pink ones, let me show you again. These pink ones, I am not a fan of. More of those cotton rounds. This is my toothpaste I'm using right now. It's the Colgate Optic White. Everyone on YouTube talks about this and I'm like, it's just toothpaste. I actually really like it. And I've gone to the dentist a few times um, cause I had to get a crown and everything. And my dentist kept saying how white my teeth were. And I was like, oh really? Like you're in my mouth. Like every, that sounds so wrong. You look at my mouth like a couple times a year anyway. Like what's the big deal? But I think some of it has to do with this. I also use an electronic toothbrush, which I love. This is an Icy Hot Medicated Patch. For those of you who don't know that these exist, they do, and they're amazing. They're really good. I was having a lot of lower back pain, and I sit all day long at work, so I just really needed something stronger than like a roll-on Icy Hot, and these medicated back patches were so, so good, guys. Now, this is the Essence Ultimate Claudia Schiffer Omega Repair and Moisturizer Conditioner. I'm sure the shampoo is somewhere. We got this in a Walmart box nothing special don't even bother yep and this is the conditioner so or the shampoo yep that's the shampoo same thing nothing special so don't even bother doesn't matter guys we got this in an ipsy bag it's just the bb repair blow dry it's a cream and i really wasn't impressed first of all i'm not impressed with this size like really guys it's so small like what are you gonna do and look at how much hair i have it was useless. Now this lotion we also got from Ipsy and I actually really liked it. It's Roseberry Figs and Rouge Hand Cream. Um, I don't know. I think the, the brand is just Figs and Rouge. But I actually really liked it. I had like two of these. And then we have the Acru Acacia, Acacia Protein BB Cream. It's a beauty balm for hair. This one was pretty much just like this little guy from um, the BB Repair. And I just... These like BB things for your hair, I'm just not a fan of. I don't believe them at all. And then this is just from Dove. It's a body lotion. We got this in a Walmart box also. Same thing, very generic, very general. Even though it's Dove, it's not a generic brand, but still nothing special to me. This is something I loved and I've used a few. I already, this is the second one I've used up and I'm gonna put this aside because I need to remember to get another one. This is the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector and this is a serum and it looks like I could probably get a little bit because it's settled. Let's hope. This is amazing. I know you can never get your pores back to the way they once were when you were a child, but I feel like my pores here and in this area when I was using this, they got so much better it really just perfected the texture of my skin like it says it does now it is pricier but i do not care that was like a miracle worker so i definitely would get get that one again and i will this is the charcoal and black sugar polishing mask from freeman this is just a packet that i got from influencer i really liked it this is just like a sugar scrub so but it was just so granular and like oh it just really got in there it would actually be really good for like scrubbing your body as well this i got at walgreens oh my gosh this I got at Walgreens, it was just a dollar, and it's a nail polish remover pads. These, it was annoying because they were like really oily and thin, but I used them on all 10 fingers and toes like two or three different times. It comes with 25 pieces, and even though the oil was kind of annoying, it actually moisturized my cuticles and my nails, so I really, really liked this. So again, just a buck. This is just a face mask from Nug. Nug. It's a hydrating mask. I wasn't really a fan of this, to be completely honest. Um, it was just like a cream. I put like this really thick cream on my face and then had to wash it off. So I didn't, I don't really know if it hydrated. I don't know. I just don't see the, the point of putting it on my face if I'm taking it off. It's not really going into my skin as much as I'd want. 
This is a Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Shampoo. I have a lot of these little things, which is why I've really been trying to use them up. Um, I've donated a bunch of them too, but still, I'll take these with me when I'm staying with friends or if I'm traveling. And this, I felt like it stripped my hair, to be completely honest. So I really wouldn't recommend that if you have drier hair. I did go through two more nail polishes. This is the Julie G Jet Set, which I love. This is also another great top coat. And then the Orly Bonder, it's a rubberized base coat, which I also really, really like. The only thing is this got really thick and goopy, but I used both of these up completely, which I really haven't done that before. Now these are more face products. This is the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream, which I loved. And then this is from Elizabeth Arden. It's another eye cream. The Ceramide I Wish Eye Cream. This one, this, the scent was so strong, I would tear up from it, which is kind of not a good thing. And then this guy, um, it was just very thin, very delicate. It definitely moisturized my under eye area. So I would recommend the Mario Badescu one over the Elizabeth Arden. I also have one of these like little brow face razors. And I'll use it for like between my eyebrows and here, but also on my face because I have hair and I'm light skinned and I have really dark hair. So... I use those. This is a piche, a pice, I don't know. It's a purifying exfoliant. We got this in an Ipsy bag also. I loved this. This was very tiny granules, like the scrub. It was very like micro. I really, really, really liked this. Um, this is the Starlux Lip Sugar. I was not a fan of this little lip sugar. It wasn't oily enough, so it was hard to get the sugar out. And it was kind of just crumbling all over, so I wouldn't recommend that. But this is the Silk, uh, the Silk Infusion for Hair and Skin from Chi. I love this. I got this from my sister, I want to say. Uh, she went to a salon and got her hair done and got this and gave it to me. And then we got a bigger size in a new beauty test tube. Um, but it is something that I would keep repurchasing because I love it. Now there's really not a lot of makeup guys, but that is mostly because my 2015 products I wanna use up, I did every quarter with Jen. So I'll try to remember to link those videos down below. And that's all the makeup that I've been using up as well as more skincare and hair care and things like that. Um, so all the lip products I've used up or if I've used up any kind of cream product, it would be in there or eyeshadows, anything like that. But these are the products that are not in there like eyeliners and brow products. I used up my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I use this in the color Espresso. I love this. It's a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. However, I do like that spoolie much better. But this is $10. The Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liquid Liner, I really, really liked, and I forgot how much I liked this, so I'm gonna set this aside to repurchase. I used up two of these Chella eye, Eyebrow Defining Gels. We got these in Ipsy bags, and I love them. I love these. They're really pricey, so I won't repurchase. I'm not gonna spend 20 bucks for like an eyebrow gel. Two more liners. This is the Covet Waterproof Liner from Anastasia. I really liked this also, but I have a ton of black liners, retractable pencil liners that I use. And this is from Marbella. It's a permanent eyeliner pen. I did not really like this that much. It's a really big felt tip marker. And um, and it wasn't permanent, but it did kind of stain. So it was like this weird gray eyeliner stain. Not a huge fan. And the last thing is a wonderful Jordana lip liner. I love the Jordana lip liners. This is in the color Baby Berry. And... Yeah, it's completely done. It's like, stop trying to twist me. But it's just a beautiful color. It's very, very true to this kind of color. Really, really liked these. And these are like two bucks maybe from like Walgreens or I want to say you can also get them at Kmart. My favorite one is Silver Lilac, which I couldn't find anywhere. And my bestie Jen sent me three for Christmas, <laughs> along with a bunch of other stuff. So that's it, guys. I'll show you real quickly this, these samples. Um, there was a LaFresh oil-free face cleanser. Um, I really did like this. I was surprised. The sample dry skin cream in like a coffee kind of flavor. This is really, really thick. So if you have really dry skin in the winter, that'd be perfect for you. I did like this exfoliate from Kate Somerville. And this was just like an exfoliating treatment. I did like that. I felt like it really exfoliated my skin well and kind of helped, you know, what is it? Encourage the, the turnover rate of cells. Um, whatever. It sounds good, but I felt like that's what was happening. And then I have these two products from Nivea. This is a dry skin um, moisture blend body lotion. I was not a fan of this sample. These are samples that you get in like the Walmart box, which I'm not a fan of. And then this is the in shower body lotion, which again, um, you're supposed to like use this as 
like you're in the shower and you put this lotion on and it's supposed to be enough and I was like no it's not and then this is the last thing we got in a Walmart bag and this is a volumizing shampoo and conditioner from Ken Paves and I actually use this today this smells so good it smells like different oils and uh, it's for fine hair it's supposed to give like fullness and body I was trying to see like the ingredients but they're not in there but it smells like essential oils it smells so relaxing and good so it was really enjoyable so that's it guys that's everything now I have a crap ton of mascaras that look guys I have a lot of mascaras from this past month uh, this past year sorry from 2015 so I do my mascaras in a different video but that's it let me know if you guys have used anything that I've mentioned and you have an agreeing or disagreeing opinion because other people may really appreciate that we have different skin types hair types preferences we live in different climates so that all is going to contribute to that but I will see you guys in the next video stay beautiful and stay blessed bye guys